Hello friends, welcome to Smash the Shell. I am Amit Kumar and in this video tutorial, we are going to go ahead and do something different. We are not going to code this time, instead we are going to build a prototype using Adobe XD for a full page navigation menu. So let's go ahead and see how, what it looks like. When you click on the hamburger, you are gonna see each items appear one by one. So this is called time delay animation or staggering animation effect. So that's what we are going to build in this video tutorial. All right. So let's go ahead and dive in. So I have already created this navigation bar. So let's go ahead and close this, delete everything from here so that I can show you how to create this from scratch and let's leave this here as it is and logo i just want to show you how we have made this hamburger okay so let's delete it and make this from scratch go ahead and select a rectangle tool and but before doing that let's see what this rectangle is let's delete this rectangle and here's another one let's delete it so we have only a logo and some text and the size of this artboard is 1920 pixel by 1080 pixel that's okay now let's go ahead and press ctrl 1 to zoom in and navigate to the top right corner select the rectangle tool and draw it here and give it a width of 60 pixel height of 6 let's remove the border change its color to go Go to the asset panel and select the color. Press V and select this rectangle once again and simply drag it down by 8 pixels. Do the same and drag it up by 8 pixels. Now reduce the size to half. So let's divide it by 2 and also divide this by 2. Now we need to align this to the right of this line so simply go ahead and select these two items and press this align to the right that's it now let's go ahead and make this as a component so right click on it make component or you could also press ctrl k to create a component out of this so you can see that here and rename it to hamburger i have already two hamburgers so i am gonna delete this and here let's go ahead and select the last item and first item and press this align vertically into the middle and now with these two items selected rotate it by 45 degree and select the other rectangle and rotate it by negative 45 degrees so this way we have created the another state uh, and rotated the items actually we have override the default state so let's press undo and create another stat state here and give it a close state name and quickly go ahead and do the same thing that we did earlier few seconds back so rotate it by 45 and also rotate this by negative 45 degree so now we have created the close state and we can switch between these two states by pressing on their names like this so now we have created the hamburger let's go ahead and quickly zoom out and duplicate this artboard from here and let's go ahead and create an overlay container for the menu so what i'm going to do is select the rectangle tool draw the rectangle here and give it a size of 1920 by 1080 and just simply remove the border change its color so go to the assets panel select the color you can apply any color you want i have already added my colors that i want to use in this design so simply go to this one and this one so it is centered and everything is hidden on this artboard let's go to the layers panel and select this artboard and quickly go ahead and move the logo and hamburger 
to the top of this rectangle because that's what we want to see uh, uh, and change the color of the logo to the white and you can also see that we have a hamburger just switch this state to the closed state and we need to kind of modify the color of the closed state so go to the main component select the closed state and here you can simply modify its color so it will be reflected back to the uh, instance of that component too so let's go to the default component for this artboard and here it will stay the same now we need to make the list of items for the menu so you could simply select the type tool and let's go ahead and hide the contents by going to the layer panel so that it doesn't interfere with our design so let's now go ahead and select uh, the type tool and and type items name so let's go ahead and repeat this and i think i need five items press ctrl shift g to ungroup and give it name of portfolio maybe services articles and maybe content all right i want to reduce its size to about 64 pixel and let's group this and press this icon to align vertically and this item to align vertically and this was to align horizontally in the center all right now what we need to do is that we need to duplicate this artboard once again so let's go ahead and zoom out and we have duplicated that artboard once again now what we need to do this time is that we need to kind of place these items on the menu one artboard so that they are not aligned in, in the same position we need to align them in a different position so that uh, we, when we click on, uh, when we reach on this artboard we could see they are placed like this in the center so uh, what i'm talking about is that we need to create a staggering effect or time delay animation so there is no timeline in the adobe xd so let's go ahead and make our simple time delay animation with these lists so simply press these portfolios services and send it backward one by one like this and finally go ahead and reduce its opacity to zero now what we need to do is that go ahead and create the actual animation or prototype for this design so move to the prototype tab and select this hamburger and click one time and you're gonna see a trigger option select the tab select the type to auto animate select the destination artboard to menu one this one so it will automatically join or linked and also select the easing type to snap and snap to 0.3 actually move to here and now i think we have selected the snap let's reduce the time to about 0.3 seconds all right and as soon as i reach on this artboard i want to immediately move to this another to do that i am going to select the menu one and select the this arrow and click on the time inside the trigger set its delay value to zero and choose the destination art go to menu two and select the timing to around 0.8 seconds and now when you go ahead and press ctrl enter to play the animation or prototype see what happens can you see this our menu items are appearing one by one on the stage but this click is not working for this uh, close animation let's make it work go to this close icon press single time on the arrow 
and you're gonna see some options select the trigger to tap type to auto animate and destination this time should be the home page which is the menu and the time should be also 0.3 seconds and easing function should be snapped so let's play it again and now this is working the way i want it to but one thing you might notice is that this uh, rectangle or background behind this menu list items is not swiping to the or sliding to the right so let, let's go ahead and do that simply copy this uh, rectangle or background by control clicking and pressing control c and go to this one and paste it here now one more thing uh, need to do is that we simply need to reduce its size to one pixel and set its opacity set its opacity to zero all right now let's go ahead and play the animation to see how it looks so i think it is really looking cool and you guys may like this tutorial so if you like this video please go ahead and like this video and comment in the comment section also it would be very interesting to know that what you are going to build after learning these techniques so go ahead and share this video and please don't forget to subscribe the channel for more delightful content like this thank you and see you in my next video.